Hey everybody, welcome to Cine Nerds. I'm James. I'm JP. And I'm Ryan. And today we are talking about a pick by JP. When I thought it couldn't get any worse, it did. What's it called? <laughs> the Party Animal. So, yeah, if you just go off of that alone. Um... Go ahead. Let's get, get I you, let's fucking get your, hated this let's movie. Just, let's just get your initial I thoughts out here. I fucking hated this movie. <laughs> initial thoughts. Wow. Like, 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 you got to understand something, everybody. All <coughs> I heard was, it's funny. It's funny. It's Animal House times 100. I never compared it to Animal House. You did at one point. No. I'm pretty sure. Well, I no, I, I mistakenly thought that he was talking about Animal House. And that I was said our, Porky's. Yeah, Porky's. I never saw Porky. Either way, I was led to believe that this was going to be hilarious. I've learned now that if I'm dying of thirst and I needed JP to lead me to water, <laughs> I'm going to die. Because this fucking movie is so bad hold on i need to see something this was a 78 minute runtime movie tell me how you really feel about Do you know it, how James? many times i laughed <laughs> the answer is zero not once i didn't even didn't even no grin no chuckle listen there was some Nothing. real stupid funny moments no this. A stupid lot of real no, stupid, stupid keyword what you just said yeah, it the is whole thing so was stupid. stupid the only thing you can do is laugh i have learned <laughs> Like, I love the 90s dumb movies. Uh, Airheads. <sighs> Anything Adam Sandler, let's just say. Let's just, let's just say it out there. You know, Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore and whatever. Uh, Biodome. Uh, Tommy Boy. I have learned that the, the dumb, quote-unquote, dumb movies from the 90s, JP loves the ones that were worse from the 80s. Like... This was so bad. There's nothing wrong with Ski Patrol. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't seen Ski Patrol. I actually either. have seen Ski okay, Patrol all right, all right. when I was a kid. But and, that's but, way but I'm not better gonna than lie. this. I'm not going to lie because I'm an adult now, so I can just be honest. We only had it on because my buddy had all the channels. And we were like, why are they skiing with no shirts on? Well, there's boobs. We're 10. And we're like, well, we'll at least stare at the boobs. But yeah. But I don't remember any of the storylines. Right. Well, you said the word. I'm going. Uh, this this was one of my biggest complaints about this goddamn movie. <laughs> if you're gonna have naked women in a movie, at least give them good boobs. What was <laughs> those were awful, awful boobs. All of them. Like it was. It, there was uh, maybe a few that were redeeming, but oh my god, I was disappointed in the boobs. But anyways, so basically, Ryan doesn't like '80s boobs. Ryan no. doesn't like '80s boobs. There were good ones. Those weren't it. They were like, all of them were like. Uh, and you watched this with your wife, right? Uh, I did. Did she, she fell complain? Asleep. About, oh, she, see, that's how bad it was. Your wife fell asleep. Well, she's not. She's not going to see things the way JP or I would either. So, so it's different. You just uh, lumped you lumped yourself in with him on this movie. Yeah, because I do see eye to eye with him a lot. I do. I have noticed this with you too. I am definitely the middle ground here. Uh, <laughs> our, our last episode, our la we we discussed uh, we discussed Slumberland. <laughs> And I was the middle ground. You loved it. You hated it. And it seems like this is the flip, and I'm still middle ground on this one. So we'll, we'll get there. <laughs> I would rather watch Hobo with a Shotgun again than watch this movie ever again. Wow. We're making an impact. Wow. No, I'm just I saying. I see what you did now. <laughs> it was, it's, it's psychological. I'm not saying I'm going to watch it again. <laughs> you, know, you give him shittier and shittier films, so he appreciates the one before. I like this. Dude, I showed up yesterday to Wayland's, and I, get, I had this I had the DVD in my hand, and I go, Get this shit out of my hand. And I just handed it to him. He didn't even say nothing. He just. <laughs> For those of you watching the podcast, by the way, when you drink, um, it helps if you open it. Too. That was. That was tough. <laughs> <laughs> I just went. Uh. So, I mean, can I ask one question? Please. The the girl in the beginning standing there watching him drop. Okay. Was she anywhere else in that movie? She's the devil. She's the devil. That's what you... What? Yes. He said out loud. Remember, he, he screamed even, out loud. He even said, I'd sell my I'd soul sell my to get soul a piece. for a piece of ass. Yeah. That so was supposed to be the devil. That's yes. the devil. That's the This version. movie was so bad. Don't just... <laughs> you can't find anywhere to watch it. Don't go look for it. Just listen to us. Listen, listen to JP try to justify this bullshit. 
And, and just forget it exists. If you buy the DVD. Oh, Jesus. Where look, are you going to find that? Oh, is it very, you can find it very easily. Walmart go to Amazon. and the dollar bin. You can, you can go to Amazon. <laughs> and it's one of the, cents. has that gold band MGM production on the top. It like makes it look classy. <laughs> As, this is like this, the worst cover ever. Whoa, whoa let's rewind here. <laughs> that is what you determine is classy. Okay, that's, that's the that gold. It's, so, it's real so do you life. save these so you have classy <laughs> drinks upstairs? Because y'all save this for you can wash it. <sighs> this is going to be a great I'm going storm. To this is for you. you know what? Here, here's what, if you watch this storm, this is for you, pal. Here's what, here's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to go to Dollar General by my house. And you're going to try to find this movie? No, I'm going to pick three random ass <laughs> fucking movies. I don't know what they are or anything. <laughs> no, just three. Do I'm putting them in a bag, and we're each going to pick one, and that's what we have to go with. Because. He just said, th- those are all the movies that are classy, by the way. Anything with MGM. Anything with <laughs> MGM. It's got to be good. It's got the lion oh on it. It's got to be good. It's got the go- had a gold band across the top. It's like MGM classic. Classic? That's like saying any car that's like 20 years old is historic, even though it's trash. That's like there's a movie. Uh, there's the movie, <laughs> The Avengers, and then it's like Team Avengers, like the knockoff. The, that's It's got a little gold label, so it's classy. Yeah. By all means, please explain this movie. Okay, so... Fuck. <laughs> to give you guys an idea of what kind of movie this is, the movie starts with Pondo. The main guy's name is Pondo. Pondo Sinatra. Pondo Sinatra. And yes, that is his name. The character. He, he is writing on the back of a turnip truck. Meanwhile, keep in mind, this guy was in his 30s playing a 22 year old he was already going bald kind of up here like <laughs> jesus christ he he is riding on the back of a turnip truck to college while the devil the girl the female devil is looking down off of a cliff if that's what that was supposed to be watching him ride on the back of a turnip truck to college he literally falls off the turnip truck into college and meets his new best well, friend studly studly uh hold on real quick just there's a couple things so yes you're right with the age because if you remember in part of the story which i know you weren't too exactly focused on um, i was focused on nothing i well, was he's focused already on, done he's I already done counting freshman sophomore and junior year this is his fifth senior year if you remember they said that in the story so that, he's no. about 28 <laughs> to 30 in that ballpark and that also another fun thing my wife because she was still there alive uh awake in the beginning part she pointed out while the turnip truck's driving the vegetables that are sitting on the back keep changing every time they go back to him <laughs> so there's different <laughs> but go ahead <laughs> That's, that's, what, that's, that's what you found funny. <laughs> you laughing this hard right now explains everything, and I this might be my last time. I haven't seen you laugh this hard. This is good. Between classy McDonald's cups and shitty movies, <laughs> JP is just happy. He didn't say classy McDonald's cups. He said classy because the gold line MGM. Oh, he's movie. getting my cup now. <laughs> I'm going to wash it and leave it up there for him. So the premise of this movie is after he gets to college, Pondo is a virgin, Pondo. and he wants to get laid. So he spends the entire movie going out on dates and being a complete moron to every female that he runs across. But it's across. not funny, moron. It's not funny, moron. It is to him. Look at him right now. It's, a, <laughs> it's, not... it's, it's the equivalent of a woman... Having a guy message her dick pic right away today. Yes. <laughs> That's what most of this is like in the 80s, though. The hot yeah. dog down the... Also, this movie can't decide if it wants to be a, a movie or a documentary. And I love that. They can't decide. There's like the first like little bit is shot like a documentary. And then like the rest of the movie is like a movie. And then at the very end, it's like a documentary again. That wasn't my takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this movie can decide much of anything. <laughs> <laughs> so, and Pondo, Pondo, Pondo is he is also from Alabama, and when he meets Studley, he says he talks about how he would sell his soul for a piece of ass, piece of ass, and Studley's like, well, you know, just go get you a girl, you know, why can't you have, why can't you get laid? And he's like, I'm from Alabama, 
He's like, what, they don't get, have sex in Alabama? He's like, we've lost the war. Now, <laughs> to, to piggyback off that, this character of Pondo so, I, well, I was so had the uh, Confederate did, flag yeah, for most of the movie in the shirt. I was so zoned out the whole time I was wondering, why is he wearing a Confederate flag on everything he wears? His pajamas, everything had a Confederate flag. Now... It just makes sense now. I, I missed that because to I was give, like, this is so... I was probably bitching about how to bad give this movie context, was to hear that. To give context further on this, this is an era... This movie was made in the Dukes of Hazard era. 85. Uh, so, 84. 84. So, yeah, it's about, it's that era. I mean, that was Dukes yeah. of Hazard then. No, um, Dukes of Hazard, wasn't that like 70s? Late 70s? Early 80s. Yeah. Early, was, early mid-80s. Yeah. Um, and and then you had Blazing Saddles in the 70s. Uh, so it's still, Blazing Saddles. It's, it, I love that movie. I think it's a, a staple for comedy basics. I think it's great. But anyways, uh, that window had very uncomfortable things like Confederate flags still as a... a beacon of whatever i don't yeah. know and uh they definitely honed in on it with, oh yes with pondo with pondo sinatra he also meets and maybe you call it call it what 79 to 85 uh studley at some point takes pondo to his pondo. his <laughs> um teacher in the sexual arts and it's an old guy named elbow and I still to this day do not know. Is, what the fuck does Elbow do? Does he work on a farm? Is he a janitor? What the heck? He's the janitor. I could he's the janitor not, at the college. I couldn't figure out. I took him as a custodian. Well, that's what I thought so, forever. And Elbow is African American. And as he's teaching him the arts, he, he teaches him in all the wrong ways. We'll say that. It's to the point where Pondo thinks he's black. And he dresses like a... Uses some words that shouldn't be said. Yep, using some words he shouldn't be said. He dresses as a 70s uh, mm-hmm. pimp, if you will, with a feather hat and everything. And he goes to an African-American party. And he walks in saying all the wrong things you could imagine a white slang. person saying in front of a group of black people who don't receive it well. Um, very, very funny for the era of humor that it was put in place. Nope. Not today, though, by any means. <laughs> not funny um, either. It, he just found everything about it not funny. But, uh, there was if, nothing funny. If you appreciated the before-referenced Blazing Saddles, then you'd appreciate this moment more than most. Uh, Elbow definitely appreciated sending him to this party, you could tell. Elbow enjoyed <laughs> sending him to get his ass beat. Yes. So, <laughs> it was very, very, very <laughs> wonderful moment. I'm zoning out like I did while during the movie already. You can zone out all you I want. I did not like this movie one bit. That's, there was nothing redeeming about this that's, movie. That's because it was kind of a documentary of your life growing up and how long it was for you to be a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> He's still zoning out because he doesn't want to hear the truth. Uh, this There was nothing about this movie to even talk about. I at least had something to say about Hobo with a Shotgun. What about- I at least had something to say about Radioactive Dreams. I told him on the way here, I was like, I would rather watch Radioactive Dreams again on YouTube. See? The shittier the movie, the more he appreciates the other ones. This is great. <laughs> no, I don't appreciate them. I'm just saying, <laughs> Sounds if, like I, you if said, it if you to watch, my head, I... If you'd watch it again, you appreciate oh, it. I'm never going to waste my time like that. I got better things to do, like rewatch the league for the fifteenth time. I would absolutely, if I got that. a good copy of Radioactive Dreams, I, I would, would watch love that. to see it. And if, if I, if, if some somebody get me a good copy of that movie, so I can actually give it a fair shot. Yeah, because I, I do, think, be I do think that that Hobo is just trash. Well. No, I just trash. disagree. Trash, trash. I can't believe you're calling Rudger Howard trash. Trash, wow. trash. Trash, 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 trash. So at this point, trash, 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 trash. Uh, Studley sends Pondo for a makeover. Oh, it doesn't. Yeah, that's. Yeah, wait, this, actually, this is, this is a painful. Wait, there's actually uh, before we even go there. Uh, one thing, <laughs> did you catch the murder? Pondo murdered somebody, and then nothing Pondo. else is said. Nothing else is said about it. Did you Did you catch that? No. Studley. Is laying in bed with two girls. Oh yeah, yeah. And Pondo is there with a gun in his mouth because he threatens to kill himself every time a girl dumps on him. And he he pulls the gun down and accidentally fires, and it shoots one of the girls. And she rolls off. She rolls off the bed, and then Studley's just like, "Yeah, I've got another one." There's no response. There's another one, and then she doesn't. They don't even acknowledge her. (laughs) She doesn't come back in at all. So she's dead. (laughs) 
there is a murder in this film. He murders somebody that's never mentioned again. But the makeover. He goes to get a makeover. He goes into the wrong store, and they make him all punk rock. They put a power drill. They put a power drill to make it pierce his nose. It's not punk rock. He looked like the he, co- he comes he looked like, like the wish version of the hunchback. hunchback of Notre yeah, Dame. he he yeah. comes out looking like the hunchback. Punk rock hunchback. Punk rock hunchback. Well, all the locals start hunting him like he's the hunchback. The hunchback. He chases him. He climbs a statue. He's like, "I'm not a monster." They all get quiet. And one guy goes, "You look like a monster to me." Animal, and they all, animal, or I'm not animal. animal. Yeah, yeah, not an animal. <laughs> Which made me when he yelled it out, I thought it was animal. Like I think of like Muppets. Like so, <laughs> I had to bring you in somehow. I know you love your Muppets. No, how'd you feel about the sex shop? That was the dumbest part. That it was, was great. No, <laughs> so unnecessary. Like he's playing with things like he has no idea what they are. Mm-hmm. He doesn't. He's an idiot. Then you got the, the other two point. idiots talking about <laughs> bombing. They're using, the dildo- they're using the dildos as nuclear, nuclear war warheads. Nuclear is the dude. This is the dumbest. Twelve-year-old wrote this script. <laughs> the double-sided dildo. What do you do with this? It's for twins. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Even I didn't laugh at that. <laughs> and then the dildo he gets is a giant vibrator. The, oh, the missile. The missile. It's, it's fucking... like a missile. He ri- He he's like riding it. It's like, you know. Five feet long. I like. I like that the dean is in her office reprimanding him for the use of this this vibrator, and it's she's holding it, hugging it in her office while while he comes in. <laughs> like like we have to talk about this. <laughs> you were laughing way too hard at this movie. Um, I'm just saying this right now, Noah. You better not be watching this episode. Just letting you know. <laughs> <laughs> can't find the movie anyway. It's nowhere to be found. Does very hear and Dad talk about things. <laughs> At this point, for some reason, Pondo becomes a a genius scientist. <laughs> Which is never really mentioned at it, any point. He's not genius scientist. He and how how <laughs> it was like his runoff that he got lucky with, like he was just playing with chemicals. He he starts trying to make a love potion and he's testing it on all these women he's going out with and he gives it to this one to the one the she Italian. Well, there's a swap that happens. The, the girls are pranking him and they swap. What he thinks are the, uh, the yeah. what, what's aphrodisiac? Yeah, and to, uh, so they swap it with a gas pill. With fart pills, yeah, yeah. it says in the bottle. And they, <laughs> he goes and picks her up, he gives her the pills, and then she start, starts farting, and she cannot but stop like, farting. But he, like, assaulted her to give her the pills. <laughs> and she just sat there like, okay, yeah, let's go now. You just threw these down my, you just threw something, I have no idea what it is, down my throat. And, and then so she's, and she's embarrassed that she can't. You know keep what? Her... The '80s were a different time. <laughs> and uh, I, how you couldn't laugh at like eighty farts in a row in a car while because I'm date. not ten. Let's be real. Yes, you are. <laughs> I mean, it's it's funny for like once or twice. Wait, like this is the guy who, when he shakes my hand, tickles the inside of my palm. Really? You like, like it? <laughs> he had Christ. a gas mask on because she was farting. You should have definitely liked that moment. I didn't. <laughs> There's not one part of this movie I even remotely laughed, smiled, grinned, nothing. I just sat there counting down. I literally looked at what time was left in it, and I figured out what time. And I'm like, okay, it'll be over at this time. He, he went on one date towards the beginning of the movie, and he looked at the one girl and said, Roses are red. said, read me some poetry. He said, roses are red, violets are blue. You got big titties. I can suck on them, too. <laughs> it's not funny. Yeah, yeah, it's not. I'm laughing because look at this idiot. Like he's dying over here at this shit. Like, all right. So I'm I'm gonna jump JP, in here. JP's I'm gonna one jump for in three here. On Hold my, on. on picks. So so one for three. I liked Fat Man. He'll like my next. One. But there's four. Anyways, what was the other one? No, you'll what? you'll like no, my no, next. Radioactive one. Dreams. Oh, no. Hobo was fan selected, so never mind. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. No, I didn't pick. Hobo. I mean, we can make it his. And no, I didn't pick it. Technically, you liked Hobo and Radioactive Dreams. No, you said you no. said you would watch no. them over this. No, you're missing the point of this. Is that is say that, what you're gonna I? say? Because this this was just this is gonna be the short episode. Because there ain't nothing to say about this fucking movie. Oh, there's plenty. Um, yeah, I'm far from done. <laughs> <laughs> 
So I am very... The only reason I'm mad about this movie is because in our initial intro to Cine Nerds podcast episode, um, we talked about some of the movies that inspired us and what we what we love. And um, I chose Night of the Living Dead and Porky's as a... As a a pair for my number three. And that's because I saw these two movies now six years old and Porky's was a defining moment for me with, uh, with, with how I perceive ladies. It was very frat culture. And, and Porky's and, and, is a much better film. Oh yeah. For it's sure, a much better for film. For sure. But I misunderstood what he said. So to me, he, like, my, I thought he said it was like Porky's on steroid and it's, a th- but apparently he said it was a thousand times worse than Porky's. I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's like I heard worse. I'm thinking it's going to be yeah, it's going to be like over the top, no, it was, sexualized. No, this worse. It was literally, literally worse. terrible. So I can't put it next to Porky's uh, by any means. But uh, you were it by redefining what you meant by worse. <laughs> we we quickly found out. He's so proud of himself. I was waiting for you to pull your shirt over your face. <laughs> this was 78 minutes of my life. I'm never getting back. I mean, we're welcome to what we're doing here. <laughs> we're going to have a lot of those. <laughs> That's how I felt when I watched Slumberland. You like the pig. At least you like something. I did like There was the pig. nothing I liked about this. You had a little bit of something. I can't talk shit about it because I cried. So, whatever. Um, <laughs> you know, Slumberland? Yeah. Hey, yeah, you're, 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 you're out. I mean, I rated it fairly, but it's still, yeah. Uh, anyways, so bad boobs, no story. Um, Thirty-five-year-old playing a twenty-year-old. There it were would, there would, were it. random moments of appreciation for just the crazy, it utterly insane, over-the-top moments where they would cross the line. Those moments I could I could understand, yeah. but that's it for me. I guarantee he laughed hysterically the first time he ever saw that movie, and it just said whorehouse. Dude, I was like. Eight years old when I first saw this movie, I thought it was the best thing ever. This explains a lot. <laughs> this actually explains why he still likes it. Because he saw it at the exact, basically, age I was saying. I'm like, what? Did a kid write this? Because he's never Zombies and nude women at six. Nude women at eight. I mean, yeah, there's a lot here. There's a, there's a lot of fuckery. <laughs> you talk to your parents. <laughs> My parents didn't know when I watched mine. Yeah, I snuck know. next door to the uh, neighbor kid's place because he was 10 and I was 6. And we could watch all his movies and his parents left him alone during the day. So, <laughs> Well, we're... <laughs> Let's let's talk about the whorehouse scene. We we skipped that that scene. Oh, yeah, all yeah. The, and he he just reminded me. Pondo goes in. Pondo. They, Studley takes Pondo to a to a brothel in which all the women punch a clock <laughs> and leave because they this is after he's had his makeover his punk rock hunchback makeover <laughs> uh and after he's been chased and tortured uh so the his uh studly uh takes him here on a, a wing and a prayer hoping that they can deliver what he's been aspiring to have happen and uh not one of these ladies wants to deal with so him he, he can't even get laid in a brothel he did look really shitty after he got <laughs> punk punk rockified uh but yeah but he does end up making a love potion from all of his discarded experiments all mixed together he, yeah he he <laughs> finally is able to get laid by accident because of this concoction it uh makes this girl who walks in the lab be all over him he doesn't understand why it happens and then what what was it he took he took off something or he did something that switched he washed it off. his hands washed, washed his, his hands because it was on his hands originally yeah. and once he washed his hands this girl just slaps him and walks out like she had no, nothing she wanted nothing to do with him um and so that in itself he realizes he's like it's got to be this stuff so he's running back no wait it takes him a minute elbow is el- it takes him elbow's a minute cleaning and out elbow's, the... elbow's getting ready to, to, throw, to throw it down the drain and he runs up there yelling for elbows like, no, no 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 i no. need that no 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 and he dumps it on himself. And he drinks it, too. He's, like, all over him. That's... And uh, at that point, he gets laid. He's Not only does he get laid, he goes into the women's dorm, and they all just mob him. Like, he goes room to room, room to room, like, constantly. <laughs> like through... So, yeah, it's it's uh, it gets quite repetitive from there. I'll say that. Uh, but, um, yeah, it, want... it gets... It, 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 he goes through and basically everywhere he goes, he's getting attacked by women. And he 
Well, let, let's talk about something else with that, though, too. There was a scene that, so the Dean, who the Dean tra- changes into a, from a smaller white blonde woman to a larger black intense woman who could mess him up and break him like a twig. Uh, when he goes to see the Dean, though, again, because he's taught, I forgot why. They he, expel him or something. They expelled him and he's trying yeah. to get back in. That's right. And when he goes back in, he's got the pheromones or whatever's going on from this, this concoction he made. The secretary is a uh, flamboyant gay man uh, who corners him and is trying to do the same thing as what the women are and it impacts him somehow differently yeah that was also weird to me like if it doesn't affect men how come it affected him i don't know if it's because he was more toward, i don't know how that rolled but that was interesting um but back to the women though the you know he finally sees a whole window of this is getting enough i can't i'm not i'm not a piece of meat as he starts yeah. like kind of acting, you know that type feel and uh as we progress there's a final scene you want to talk about that yeah yeah it so, was uh well it was it the laundromat it's a laundromat he was trying to get his laundry done yeah this was the dumbest <laughs> this, was a, this was a perfect out and it was a crushed to death there's all these large women that decide they want some of pondo pondo so <laughs> pondo dies by death by snoo snoo do you want to elaborate for those watching <laughs> what the fuck you just said? Because <laughs> I am, what is Snoo Snoo? you never seen Futurama? Oh, there's an episode of Futurama where uh, Fry, um, I know the characters Zap are. Brannigan, and the the little alien guys always with Zap. Okay. Um, they go to this planet, and it's all full of nothing but Amazonian women, these huge Amazonian women. And so they they sentenced them to death by snoo snoo. So they they fuck them to death. Okay. They try to fuck them to death. All right. And they're had, but they're happy, but it's sad about it. There's so many questions. I have. He's, he's, <laughs> he's grabbing the bridge of his, ne- his nose, and he's like, "What the fuck am I hearing?" So, Pondo you dies spend by way too much time watching stupid shit. You're not a Futurama fan either. You like Simpsons, don't you? I've never seen an episode of Simpsons. Really? I thought you were Simpsons Ride the ride all the time, though. Okay. So, Pondo dies by death by Snoo Snoo, or he is fucked to death. And it goes back to the documentary style at this point. (laughs) And everybody's... Yeah, 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 you hear the... Is is Elbow the doc... Is he the narrator? I think he might be. Okay. And, uh... But it goes back... I've never even caught his name. It goes back to all the women, and they were basically talking about how disgusting Pondo was, and... Then Studley talks about how he became like this a big legendary, la- a legendary, yeah, a legendary ladies person. man because of the serum. And um, then it shows uh, Studley at the end in the courtyard at the at the college, and there's a little bunny rabbit with a rebel flag on its back <laughs> that they like... painted on this poor rabbit <laughs> was it painted it was a little and actual that was, flag that was showing that, that pondo paint. pondo was reincarnated as a bunny rabbit Be, and and that references a scene in the movie earlier where they're like he had to have been because of what he was doing he had to be a jackrabbit in his last life because he you know <laughs> so that was why that happened but um me personally um this is one of those ones that's just dumb funny like i don't i don't i i wouldn't rewatch it um ever probably not but I, for it once those a week. few yeah. moments those few moments that uh were so out there that they were fucking hilarious i did appreciate those moments but there were fewer of those than <laughs> anything with any kind of uh meat and potatoes there's only one thing oh oh we got something I did think the guy who played Pondo. Pondo. Every fucking time. <laughs> Sinatra. He he was he he, <coughs> he was very animated in his acting. He is he's a he, he was a good actor, but the story was such shit that I just didn't care. Um. Every time uh, you just said Sinatra the way you just did, now in my head I have. Ai, ai, Pondo, Sinatra, <laughs> instead of Rico Suave. Tell me you know the song Rico Suave. Okay. 
So Pondo, Sinatra. You guys are burning brain cells right now on stupid shit. <laughs> okay, so... I couldn't find a lot of fun facts about because this film. Because it sucks so bad, no one wanted to write about Dude, it. Dude, why would you say that sentence, first of all, in this? Because, like, as soon There's as you no said that... There's no fucking reason to talk about it. As soon as you said that, I was like, James, you got it open. We're the <laughs> only fucking podcast on the planet that's talking about this dumbass movie. And that's why we are amazing. Ugh. However, I feel like I need to let James know that... Matthew Causey is the guy's name that plays Pondo. I looked him up. Did you see what he is or what he does for a living now? He is real estate. No. He is a professor at Trinity College, and he is the director of arts and uh, technological research in the School of Drama. He is a professor. He teaches kids how to act. At college. As the party animal. But I thought he was a good act. I thought he actually, he, his acting is actually good. Full it's, circle. It's just the fact of he had a shit script. This movie was trash. What other movies I mean, has he done? I didn't look that up. Has he, he, he has a few. He, he's done a few, but not many. So then what gives him the credit to do that? That just shows if you go I would to school and get a piece a degree. of paper, you yeah. can fucking do it. <laughs> that proves it right there. Get you know, that piece of paper and yep, you can have the job. Pondo's still a better Pondo. Pondo's still a better actor than Jason Momoa. <laughs> oh, you know what? They're pretty even, bro. Jason, I'm sorry. I, I, I won't I won't insult you there. Okay. Just there we go. <laughs> I gotta talk to Jason, because I can't talk shit away from Jason. Jason, you're good there. You win. Okay, so worst movie I've ever seen in my life. It's not the worst movie. It, I've just, there's funnier movies. There's better movies. It's the worst. But this is one of these movies that I feel like everybody needs to see. Yeah, no, don't, once. no, do not even once. bullshit. Oh, you're going to get death threats. <laughs> you get unmarked boxes on your front step. You're afraid to open. Anthrax is going to come back. I'm okay with this. I accept my fate. You shit. You're going to be quick. This movie could have been a, it had, half, a half hour. Oh, absolutely. And delivered the same message. And half I, hour, 15 minutes. No, I, a half <laughs> this hour. This could have been a half of a SpongeBob episode. No, half hour is good. Just alone, it's going to take you 15 minutes to get through all the ladies he went through. So. <laughs> all the seductive crawling for no damn reason for 15 minutes. Or all the Chippendale dancers that showed up randomly. Did you notice that? I, I must have I don't, been looking I, at my I, phone I, at that point. I wanted. I, no. <laughs> I was looking at my phone at that point. Instead Actually, of watching the you movie. know what's funny about that Guaranteed. moment? That when the when the chip the male dancer scene happened, I actually was looking at my wife. I'm like, I have so many questions about JP right now. Why is he making me watch this? <laughs> because those guys came into play before the boobs. So I was while, a little. Or while Pondo was sitting Pondo. there, <laughs> while Pondo <laughs> was at the Chippendales, just watching the Chippendales dancers dance. Try to learn some moves. I, I think. I think. Yeah. I think. A. He wanted to know what the appeal was, and he was trying to understand. It, but B. He was definitely checking out the girls. Like he looked up and smiled at the one girl, and and she looked back like, like one of those deals. Worst movie ever. No. What's your worst movie ever? You want to know straight up? Yeah. I can tell you straight up. The uh, happening. Never saw. The I happening tell was you worse. garbage. Tell you one worse than that. This House of the Dead. <laughs> probably but <laughs> i never finished that one you have to because the only redeeming quality of that is the slow motion boob run in the end that's it <laughs> tale of a vampire i've never seen it it's a it's a julian sands movie remember julian yeah. sands played warlock uh-huh um worst movie i've ever seen and it's called tale of a vampire I can only and imagine I, I literally, how bad a movie is if you're saying it's that I bad. Literally, I cut it off like probably 10 <laughs> or 15 minutes before it ended, and I never once saw a vampire. Once in I this whole fucking movie. Act. So I have I, I, I have a love and hate for... The first movie was amazing, 28 Days Later. The second movie, the 28 Weeks Later, I, I enjoyed that equally, but at the same time, when I was walking out... I'll never forget this as long as I live. There was another person walking out, and he goes, I felt like it was 28 months later. 
And I was like, oh, that's like probably one of the worst honest reviews I've ever heard in my life. Now they're making 28 months well, later. That's okay. in production. Okay. So 28 days later, it's a Danny Boyle film. Mm-hmm. We were talking about Danny. Me yeah. and you were behind. Well, he wasn't here. Uh, we were talking about Danny Boyle. I went to get a cheeseburger. Yeah. You went to get a cheeseburger. I'm a huge Danny Boyle fan. If I was to put a top 20 list up, I probably would say there would be three or four of his films in that top list. 28 Days Later being one. That's a, it's a I, stellar not, film. Not only is it a fantastic horror film, it is one of the best films ever Approaches made. at zombies, yeah. for sure. Um, I don't trust anything you say anymore after watching no, this. No, no, I, 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 I second Seriously, it. Yeah. I, it's, Danny Boyle is just a fantastic director. The thing is, you had me. Um, <laughs> you gave me really. You cool. gave me Willy's Wonderland. I just got the idea for the so, sequel. Could then you zombie poncho. So the thing, the thing, <laughs> fuck your life. The thing with twenty eight uh, weeks later, Danny Boyle did, didn't do that movie. Okay, that was why the movie was shit. That movie was garbage compared to twenty eight days later. I, I didn't mind it. Twenty eight years later, that's being worked on. I thought it was twenty eight months later. No, what's being worked on is twenty eight years later. Chili and Murphy's coming back. Okay. Um, and you like Chilean Murphy. Is it Chilean or is it Cillian? Cillian, Chilean. I always say Chilean. Is there an H? Isn't there an H in it? No. It's, well, it's an Irish spelling. It's C-I-L-I-A-N. Okay, well, I'm not Irish, so I don't know. I'm Southern. I oh. pronounce things how I want. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to that conversation again? We did that last yeah, night, too. The, no, the big one in our house, the fight that's now going into my 11-year-old, is... Coupon versus coupon. It's Sound off. Coupon. No, it's definitely There's coupon. There's no Q. Dude, they're, they're it's C-O-U. Conjugate. <laughs> when you overtake a government, what is it called? A coup. How is that spelled? Anyways, this is a fight that's been on 22 years in our household. It got to the point where my wife and I now say a paper saving statement instead of, fight- <laughs> instead of fighting. <laughs> That was funnier than anything in that movie. <laughs> that was funnier than anything I but, watched. But, that 78 minutes of that bullshit but movie. my son comes downstairs the other Paper day and he goes, statement. Mom, do you have a, cu- a coupon? And I'm like, no, no, no. Not in this house. You are not starting that shit. It's coupon. I go, I don't care if you want to sit because eat both ways are acceptable by Webster's Dictionary. But, but, no, the way phonetically and the way that it works is coupon, motherfucker. Anyways, sorry. I got a tangent. It's a painful twenty two. So we okay, so we do not have any numbers on this movie. There is That's there is how no, bad it is. There is you no can't numbers. even find fucking numbers on this you movie. You can't find numbers for the budget or box office. Because the or... box office was like four hours. They showed it twice and they were like, eh, fuck this. No one showed up. So oh. it's zero. The number's probably zero. Is you know that what, is that your rating or your <laughs> You know what's oh. you know what's funny about this? The first time I watched this, I watched it off of pay-per-view. You paid for it. <laughs> you were like, looks funny. <laughs> Credit card. So wait, you let me get this straight. You were eight, <coughs> and how'd you order it on pay-per-view? My dad had a uh, de-scrambler on one of the big old satellites. Oh, my God. And so I had pay-per-view for free. I just... No. I was younger than six when I first had the introduction to heavy metal. And I was a cartoon at least, but I was like pretending like I had fallen asleep in the living room. My pops had it on playing, and I'm like, as soon as I saw cartoon boobs, I was I was hooked. I was locked. <laughs> <sighs> and then it was a Boob- long road to Porky's. And- boobs make everything better. There's seriously except for this movie, huh? Listen, wives, I'm going to tell you this. Even this movie. Boobs. I mean, well, there's some rough boobs in this. I, I, stand, I stand by that. I stand by that. But I will say this: if if my wife knows if she's ever pissing me off or I'm ever crossing the line where I'm getting like cranky, whatever, boop, and all of a sudden everything's better. It's it's quantity, not quality. Uh huh. It's everything's better. <laughs> Dicks for you, probably. <laughs> this movie was trash. <laughs> Pondo. I'm waiting for you to try and be like thrifty and modern and be like, bro, your movie was head ass, dude. Head ass. I don't even know what that means. I don't want to know what that means. (laughs) (laughs) Current, current kids lingo. I'm good. Who told you that? (laughs) 
crickets. So, Anyways, so there was there was one other thing. Uh, Studley, the guy that played Studley, and I d- didn't write his name down. But you know, he actually went on to have a really good career. Yeah, he's uh, he's in a bunch of different stuff. He's in I'd, Yellowstone. Yellowstone, he's but he's also wasn't who he in is Revenge? He in Yellowstone. <laughs> I love Yellowstone. You Don't make would. me hate uh, Yellowstone. You go would. fuck yourself, Yellowstone. I already, yeah. I already closed out of this shit movie. It's... So somebody gave me this comparison, and I thought it was fucking spot on. So I was one of the few people who, the week that Sons of Anarchy aired, I watched it. I wanted to see it. I thought it was cool. I watched through the entirety of the series. I thought it was great. However, I did not go out and form, get a patch and a coat and a motorcycle all because of a show like some people did. It caused this weird influx where people thought they were like, Motorcycle, motorcycle gangs and yeah. bikes and it was stupid so now it's like everyone who doesn't have that to clean on anymore has jumped over to Yellowstone they want to be cowboys yeah, now. now they're all cowboys they're buying land in Montana and shit and there's the Yellowstone bourbon now there's all this weird shit so uh, I, I I like Yellowstone I just don't like the fandom I guess there's... that's any fandom no I get that but the show's great have I I think I've told you guys my Kevin Costner story yeah I, was a, uh, I, I, was, I don't think you have, or I, I don't remember. I was a cook. Oh, that guy? I was a cook at Herb's Tavern in Rocky River, uh, here in Ohio. And when Kevin Costner is in town, he's got friends and family here, and apparently he visits Herb's Tavern every time he comes he's in. He's got a house in Avon. He when he used to have one of those houses that was that's on uh, Wigger Road in Rocky River that was overlooking the valley. Okay. But uh, when he was in town for this, it was, he was recording some movie. He came into Herb's Tavern for a burger. I was 15. It was one of my first jobs, and I'm cooking. I'm at the grill. I'm making the burgers. I get my boss comes in, and he goes, he goes, Ryan, come on out. He goes, I, I got somebody who wants to talk to you about the burger. I'm like, fuck, what I do wrong? You know, I'm thinking, like, the worst. I go outside. I walk right outside the kitchen door, and at the end of the bar, they had the whole area sectioned off just so he could have it. It's Kevin Costner sitting there. And he goes, hey, I just want to take a second and thank you. Your burger was really good. It was, it was awesome. And I, I looked at him, and I'm like, I liked Waterworld. <laughs> Literally, those are my. I meet Kevin Costner, and those are my first words to him. And you know what he said? Cool as hell. He goes, "I'm glad someone did." <laughs> you know, so, you know what's funny about the I, I like Waterworld. Yeah, I, I think it's a great sci-fi movie. I don't care. It's it's amazing. <laughs> that, like that, mo- that movie is universally hated. Robin Hood was good too with him. That movie is universally hated, but honestly, it's one of my favorite Kevin God, Costner this just, movies. This is so, okay, one God, of the God. best chick chick songs ever of all time came out of that Robin Hood. Uh, by the way, the yeah, Brian, yeah, yeah, Brian yeah. Adams. Hell yeah! God, that's so painful. Do it for you. <laughs> now he's happy. He got to sing that song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for this episode to be over. Uh, rating. <laughs> negative 500. Yeah, we can't do negative. No negative. We can't do negative. Zero. We can't point do zero. <laughs> uh, ask me one. Or, uh, we point, already point decided one. that. Point zero one. <laughs> How? He's li- literally one. <laughs> There's no point. One. <laughs> I'm going to say. If you go over two, I'm punching you in the face. I'm going to say. Uh, so, funny thing, <laughs> I'm flat at two. I'll stay at two. That's two synonyms for I'll me. Say if you go over two, so you're safe. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I ain't scared of you, bud. <laughs> ain't nobody is, but I was just giving you a heads up. You'd you get a ride home from you, JP, you, you, so you, you guys could talk you, more about this You do movie. have a solid gun collection, so maybe I should rethink that. I've got a good one, and too. I'm, and, I, and I'm really good with a slingshot, actually. Well, I hope you guys have accuracy, because if you don't fire right the first time, I'm, I win. <laughs> I ain't scared. I ain't scared. I can accept. You're going to give a 4.9. No, I'm not. No. Oh, no. No. This isn't the greatest comedy ever made. That's reserved for basketball. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my side of the table. <laughs> are you I not? Like a, are you? Are you not a basketball fan? I, mean, I like it, but it ain't that good. What's uh? Dodgeball's better than basketball. It, it, what's the movie they made? The is it the Book no. of Mormon? What, 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 what? No. What, what? Orgasmo. Orgasmo. Thank you. <laughs> Where they play more now that I can get down basketball's a little Stunt bit rough. Cock. <laughs> yeah. So if you ever want to see quality, if you're a fan of South Park basketball and you haven't seen Orgasmo, you need to see that. Uh two point one. 
<gasps> he made us watch yeah, it. Yeah, he did. <laughs> what the fuck? It. fuck? That's why he's been laughing this whole time. He's like, the I just dragged the Yeah, yeah. Dude. Oh, my God. But. Uh... Remember what we talked about in the car? Which we. Th- so remember, remember, remember I said one of these days is going to happen. And then you were like, well, then you can say this. Oh, yeah, It's yeah. coming next okay, time. Okay. I promise well, you that. We can't say that until it gets nope, there. Nope, nope, You want to play games? Fuck around, find out, play. What? Nope. I have no idea what you're talking exactly. about. Exactly. You'll find out when it happens. When that what happens? You'll know. When I pick something both of y'all don't like? Oh, man, this is going to be worse. What do I have to do for this to happen? <laughs> so you do it? <laughs> Actually, it might save me some time. <laughs> Swallow. <laughs> good now. I'm good. <laughs> On that note, tell them where to find us. I'm fucking done. Three synonyms. <laughs> three synonyms at gmail.com is our email. Uh, any questions, <laughs> comments, concerns, anger mail, hate mail, death mail, <laughs> send it to JP on Facebook. <laughs> Not to us, because it makes my phone go off, and it's going to make me even more mad that he made me watch this bullshit. <laughs> link tree link is in the bio. Check us out. I'll leave it there. <laughs> We're the Cine Nerds. We're out. Fuck you, JP. <laughs>